going on guys, Nafe, welcome back to another video. Now before we get started, I want to ask everyone to press subscribe, but please, everyone please press that subscribe button if you do enjoy my content. I've had a look at my statistics and well, that, that, that was close. Uh, a lot of my viewers don't subscribe, which is a big sad. So if you do like my content and uh, you know you do want to subscribe, go press that subscribe button. You get four videos a week from my channel. You know, and I do try to push out the content as much as I can. We do meetups, you know, a good few times a year. This year we've got two planned so far with another one potentially in the works for October. So we're doing a meetup in May, June, July. Wait, that's not maths, is it? We've got one in May, and then June, July, August, three months later we've got another one. August, September, October, and then two months later we've got another one. So we have like three meets in the space of six months, if my maths is correct, of May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, six months. Perfect. So that's one about every two months we're averaging out of the moment. Uh, so that is that plan with it. Uh, so if you are interested in any of that, do subscribe. If you're also interested in more of a gaming side of things, you can go follow on Twitch. That's not how you drive, but let's go with it. Yeah, so that's that bit out of the way. Uh, also coming up uh, is a conversation of the A2 bike story again. I talk about it a lot and I finally have a few more confirmed little deets. Uh, okay, uh, but, 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 but I have something I wanted to say but I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, uh, I keep getting comments about uh, why the fuck do I ride with Pillion on down motorways when I only have a CBT? I would like to confirm with no with you guys, you know. Hang on, I'm gonna wait. Do 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 don't like talking in front of people, it is awkward. But yeah, I don't have um I don't have CBT. Fuck for CBT, it's a waste of time and money. You get a two-year bike license that so you have to keep renewing. This is bollocks. Come on. Fucking hell. Let's go. I wanna have a turn at moving. <laughs> yeah, so you get a two year renewal bike license, completely fucking pointless. Uh, you know, except the only point is it if, you know, if you do your. If you get it at 17, you get your A2 done at 19. If you get it at 16, you run out at 18. And then you get a whole other CBT done, which at that point, you might as well chip to the extra 50 to 75 quid to get your A1 done at your 17th. Uh, and on your A1 then get, actually it might be like 150 quid, but you know, my A1 dropped my insurance by a good like 500 quid. So I have a full bike license, which is classed as a full bike license. Uh, I am allowed down M roads, so I'm allowed to take pillion. I don't have to wear L plates. You know, I am a proper motorbike rider when it comes to riding on the road. Uh, I've got my A2, <clears throat> my A2 test coming up in May, which is absolutely amazing. You stop right there, sir. Uh, right, so the A2 bike I right now have my heart set on. I believe it is going to be a very nice YZFR3 for a Ninja 650. I ruled out the MT-03, the MT-07. Uh, I've also ruled out the Honda CBR. 500 RR, have a CB 500 RR, something like that. I've also brought out the KTM Duke 390, the Lex Moto uh, LXR 370 or 390, I can't remember which one that was. But I've been uh, crossing off bikes like there's no tomorrow and I'm down to the last two. The only bike that would, you know, completely swoop up and mix everything up again it would be the YZF R7, which they're not dropping till 2022. Apparently, so right now I'm just trying to. The only thing that's questioned that I've got questioned right now is why is the far free I can pick up for about five grand? Ninja 650 is going to cost me about 8.8 .8 grand. So, I, my only question is, is it worth chipping in that little bit extra for that for, you know bike I can just de restrict when I'm 20? When I'm when I'll be oh, I'm turning 19. Oh, cool, <laughs> forgot about that. 19 seems like a big number for me, but it's actually happening. Um, 
be dropping off my when I'll be 21 I won't have to get another bike so I can just de-restrict my 650 which sounds pretty sweet to me on the money saving front but then then again you know do I really want the same bike for four years I can barely keep a 125 for a year which this bike still I haven't had it for a year yet but yeah so I am thinking about the YZFR3 just because it, it's cheaper it's got a little bit less horsepower than you know the MT-07 but then again oh that is a that's a cool car whoosh someone's playing Forza Horizon IRL but yeah I think it's going to be the wise stuff R3 just because the price you know being short to be cheaper it just seems all around a little bit more worth it to me so that is the plan there guys so if anyone's disappointed I'm not joining team Kawasaki I'm sticking with team Yamamaha and Yamaha, if you are watching this, the Suzuki um, decided not to reply and to decline my request to do a YZFR versus GSXR video. Literally, all I asked, I didn't ask for a free bike, I didn't ask for any money. I was like, can I come to a dealership and do a side by side review of a GSXR? And they were like, we'll pass you one to the marketing team. And decided I wasn't important enough to live. Why is everything so busy? It's a Saturday in lockdown, guys, chill. Wait, we're not out yet, are we? It's the 29th, stay at home's lifted. <laughs> go back home! There you go. I've done my part now. All I can do now is arrange meetups and, you know, go for rides. And also, as of the 29th, you're allowed to ride with other bikers, up to a group of five people. Five people is a very nice number. You know, but the only problem with that is I don't have five friends, so I suppose I'm still exempt from that wall. <laughs> uh, should we go a different way? This looks rather busy to me. What's my plan? Uh, ooh, ooh, oof, I don't really feel like going through town. It's a busy little bitch right now. gonna turn red on me because the world hates me haha <laughs> didn't even get the chance oh oh very nice more very nice not as nice as my shit kit though <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've named it I've called it the shit kit You know, I can't wait for the meetup because I'm actually going to see a 2019 model with the right handlebars and everything. And I'm going to be able to sit on it and measure it up and be like, what the fuck? Because the way that the handlebars are on the other one, is they're angled like that. Uh, hang on, let me give you a better example when I'm not concentrating on traffic. Because like they're, they're diagonal a bit. Stagecoach bus could never beat me in a race. But they're angled so, you know, your, your, shore, your elbows are more bent in a bit. Whereas, you know, mine are just kind of flat 24, 2015 handlebars with, you know, forks, 2019 dash. Mine's a custom bike. It's nothing like my bike in this world. Well, I've never seen a black bus. That's quite cool. That looks fresh. Oh, pothole! <laughs> Me getting distracted by bus. Oh, a Yamaha jumper. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, so I'm very much comfortable riding like this. Most of my my weight doesn't go on my wrists, my elbow, or my arms anymore. My actual weight goes onto you no know, more of my arse at the moment. I'm more sit down, just hanging on the handlebars. Whereas the 2014 play I had, the weight was a bit lower. My shoulders were always hunched back a bit. You know, it, it was not my ideal riding position. Whereas this is. So if my handlebars have created that for me. Thank you, 10 out of 10 job. Uh, also guys, I'm looking at more Subscriber Saturdays. I'm also thinking about moving Subscriber Saturday to Tuesday and uh, giving me a, a best Saturday spot and you guys the Tuesday spot. But Subscriber Tuesday doesn't sound as good as Subscriber Saturday. So that, that's still a fault. But anyway guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. Everyone subscribe. The more subs we get, the more content I can put out. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.